tell you too. Well, we're in the midst of a government shutdown. I guess it just had to install some updates. Which is exactly what I'm doing on this Asus laptop here. As you can see, I've reinstalled Windows 8 on this particular computer. And you may be thinking, why is that? Don't you not like Windows 8 for various reasons? Well, yes, but on this particular laptop, which came with Windows 8, there are some huge benefits. Uh, especially since upgrading to the Seagate hybrid drive. Uh, Windows 8 handles UEFI extremely well. This laptop came with Windows 8 with UEFI and uh, Secure Boot and stuff like that. And it's such a, a, it's a much faster experience than forcing it into the legacy BIOS mode. And Windows 8 is just so fast. The boot time is incredible. And I love that. So... I'm going to demonstrate what I missed about Windows 8 on this laptop and why I put it back on here. Oh. Oh, it has to configure updates. You know what? I'll refilm this. Hold on. Okay, now that it's done configuring updates, maybe we can do an actual boot up demonstration that I wanted to show you. Let's do this. Let's do this again. The boot time with this hybrid drive is ridiculously quick. It was on the slow Hitachi drive, but on this, it's just insanely fast. Bam! It's booted up! Right there. That, that's just incredibly fast. I love that. I really missed that. About, uh, Windows 8 being on here. And I've put Start 8 back on, as you can see. All that fun stuff. I still need to reinstall my games with Steam, but... Windows 8 works great on this computer. I never had an issue with it before, I just preferred Windows 7 on pure principle, but the performance of it on this compu on this particular computer is insanely good, especially since uh, Windows 8 handles UEFI on this extremely well, and also handles the uh, hybrid drive extremely well. It's ridiculously fast. I'm very happy with it. So, UEFI is definitely a good thing. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Uh... So I just thought I'd show you that, that I switched back to Windows 8, and the boot time with that new drive is ridiculous, now that I have AHCI on and I have uh, UEFI enabled. So, there you have it. Just figured I'd show the boot time. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.